Hi, you guys. Happy Friday. I'm about to leave from work now. Hi. Happy Friday. Anyway, it's June 23rd. I'm about 10 or 15 or something. I'm already leave. And, um, oh, it's a beautiful day. Look how it turned out. Isn't that nice? Could you please give this 10 minute video a thumbs up? Subscribe or share with a friend, family, colleague, or whoever I need it. I want to thank you for watching. I'm going to take off my 4th of July mask. <laughs> now I'm going to put on my glasses so that I don't spend too much. Oh, great. Here's my relief. I'm so happy he's here on time. Peace out there. Okay, let's talk about spiritual warfare. Okay. We are challenging the Christian people like myself. We are challenging Christian warfare. We are challenging um, battles with people that pretend to be your friend. You call them frenemies. And what they do is they try to twist things around and make you, you look like the person that's in the wrong when you're not, when you're trying to correct them, they don't listen. And they also have the same, oh, this is about me. So these, this person, particular person, I won't mention names, they've been saying that, um, that who am I to correct them? Mm -hmm. And things like that, and even threatening me. So if anyone out there is threatening me, they're threatening God, because I have the Holy Spirit. He's with me on me all the time. You can't threaten an anointed child with Jesus Christ, people. Look in the Bible. It says, touch not my anointed. Do no harm to my pop. Sorry, I don't have a scripture with me. I should. <laughs> anyway, but it's in there. Peace out there. Father God, let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we pray for those who are um, been led by the devil, who is using strong words against us, trying to manipulate the strong thoughts from the devil. We rebuke that. And trying to convince other people that it is true. Uh, we send it back to the devil. We, we pray that they come to their senses quick and that they stop being too argumentative and thinking all these negative thoughts towards me and other people. Jesus, my name, amen. There he is. See the car? So I am so happy to be getting out of here soon. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. My gosh. Definitely drive to the beach this weekend. I was going to check out this other um, you know, opportunity, but I don't know. It's just such a beautiful weather today. I feel like I'm it now. We'll see. So I'm probably just going to get gas and head back. But yeah, I hope cooties to all of you. I'll probably just be, I'll be definitely going to the gym either later today or tomorrow. And I want to thank you guys again. I hope you have a very safe holiday. And I hope that you're not going through that battle. Or they call them frenemies. Yeah, they want to be my friend, but yet to me, I just see them as a, like a business associate. And unfortunately, we're they came neck to neck with me again and it's, it's really disappointing because I really truly have a good heart and people don't understand me and people uh, always you know just don't understand me and they, they take me for granted or they prejudge me and it's, it's just utterly ridiculous and thinking that I'm jealous of them really people come on I am not I've never had a jealous spirit on me I'm just never have and if anything God has told me that they're jealous of me they're like how dare they um, get upgraded with this or upgraded with that come on we're all in our own race this is not even about anyone I'm in my own competition and uh, I'm like actually struggling <laughs> so I don't think someone would be uh, jealous of my struggle. I've even heard things like people were wanting to try to dress like me. They wanted to be me, look like me. They tried to do witchcraft spells against me. This is all true. And it's all real. It's like, wow. <laughs> wow. 
it's insane the stuff that God shares with me, you know? And I'm just like, man, that is really sad. I could not spend the whole day in my energy worrying about what else is someone else is doing. No, life is too short. Worry about yourself, people. We've got five more minutes of this video. No one's worth all that, and neither am I. You know, and we all have a purpose here. And it's like, you know, I have my own uniqueness. You have your own uniqueness. Excuse me. Someone else has, everybody has their own uniqueness. I have my goals. Uh, hopefully, everyone else that's watching this have their goals. And uh, I'm always want to celebrate people and support their goals or what they want to do, you know. But the Lord has shown me and told me that you can't even share anything, any goals anymore with people because the devil is out there and he's using them and working. And they actually get mad, like they'll smile in your face, but in their heart they're jealous or they um you know they just don't want to see you make it they don't really can you raise your hand if anyone is experiencing this right now please write me to a two-page letter and let me know if you are two pages only and more than that give me a thumbs up or comment have you ever experienced this finding out that someone you know uh, tried to say that you were the one being jealous, but in actuality, no, they were. God has searched my heart. He said, I don't have a jealous spirit. Thank goodness I'm not like that. If you're experiencing that, please write me to 3573 West 3rd Street, 124 Los Angeles, California, 90020. I would love to read your testimony and how you overcome that. Yeah, so we have to pray for those people because they're obviously demonic and they think they're a Christian, but they're not. They're really not. I actually had this individual in my car stating that uh, I was jealous of her because she was taller than me. I go, okay, let me get out of the car. And when we stood next to each other, I mean, to me, we're both short. I don't think I'm all that. I hate my height. But I don't let it get to me. And if I see someone taller, I'm always complimenting them and I'm not jealous of them. I just say, I, I hope in my next life I'm that tall. And that's it, I let it go. But with her, she's like using, oh, I'm taller than you. I go, no, you're not. She was literally like about this much. She's either shorter than me or about the same height as me. And was no one around to, um, you know, see. I'm keeping track because I only do 10 minutes. And she literally was not taller than me. It was so funny, you guys. And then she's like, she even went there and said, I'm prettier than you. I'm like, oh my God, are you kidding me? She's, her nose, my nose stops here. Her nose is out here. Her, her nose is literally out there. And it's like, oh my God. And she doesn't even look her age. She looks older than her age. And I said, because see, I'm a very blunt, bold person. And if you're going to come after me in my face and insult me and say you think you look better than me, okay, then you just open the door for me to be bold. And I'm going to tell you exactly how it is. So I told her exactly how it is. I said, no, you're not. We're both overweight. We're both short. You have a bigger nose than me. I have a cute button nose. You talk too much. Yes. Okay. And her hair looks very tingly. And this is, and, and she doesn't have a boyfriend. Okay, it's time for me to go. Ten, nine, I gotta clock out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Give me a thumbs up. I love you, but Jesus loves us all better. Thank you.